run through the system once more. And once again, it's all down to Grant. Can he conquer the oversensitive steering and guide the bus going at top speed onto what looks like a very small ramp? Hit it. Come on! Please. 10 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour. Come on, dude. Get back online. 30 miles an hour. Uh-oh. We're losing it. We're losing it. Get back over. Come on, Grant. 45 miles an hour. Hold it. No. 55 miles per hour. Oh, crap. 58 miles per hour. Return. That's it. That was crazy. Did that look easy? Because it wasn't. It was really, really hard. the bus is a little tricky because you're following it all you see is kind of the back end swerving and you have to correct for that you're trying to keep up keep correcting the bus keep correcting it and it got a little swervy right towards the end but I saw the ramp coming up and I made the last move to get us right on the ramp yes hit the ramp we caught air and that's the important thing did the bus go the entire distance of the gap no, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think that is where the bus landed. I Look at that impact zone. Ah, that thing is huge. The couch is massive. Yeah, but I mean, look, this is our target distance. Dude, that's a long way. I mean, we didn't even come close. Not even halfway. And you know what? In the movie, they didn't have a ramp. Okay, the good news. Just like the movie, the bus, before hitting the safety barrier at least, was relatively unharmed. But here's the but. Even with a ramp, the bus failed by a long way to clear the gap in the freeway, which would have meant a tragic and very unhollywood like end to the movie. All right, this one's looking busted. 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 <laughs>